sitting round the campfire singing songs of yore. Playing till my fingers are sore cause they always want one more. Yeah, we're sitting around the campfire singing songs of yore. Playing till my fingers are sore on the campfire troubadour. A good day to you fine gentlemen and ladies. And thank you for joining me today for a wee bit of singing and a wee history lesson. Now they call me two wives, the campfire troubadour, singing songs of yore and songs about yore. Now today I'll be singing for you a song called Down in the Willow Garden. Sometimes it's known as Rose Connolly. It's a traditional Appalachian murder ballad. It most likely originated in Northern Ireland in the town of Coleraine in the 19th century as Irish folk music collector Edward Bunting noted a song there by the name Rose Connolly. Now, as was common, the lyrics greatly varied among earlier versions. Down in the Willow Garden tells a story of a man of a higher social class than his girlfriend, and she became pregnant. His father did not want him to marry beneath his class and to definitely not have a bastard child. So he convinced his son that it was for the best to kill the young girl, as he thought his money and position would buy the boy out of trouble. Well, obviously that didn't work out so well. This song is slightly different than most murder ballads in that the murderer poisoned his victim before killing her. This tells us that he probably did indeed love her and he couldn't bring himself to kill her while she was conscious. The song also varies from the norm in that the murderer's name is given, at least in some versions. I wouldn't 
murder that serving lass whose name was Rose Connolly. Thank you for joining me today for a wee bit of singing and a wee history lesson. Well, I hope you enjoyed our time together and may have even learned a little bit. Until we meet again, I remain your humble servant, Two Wives, the Campfire Troubadour. <laughs>